Blackie checked off under his own power. After a five-yard catch, it's second and five for the Eskimos. The Boers, lots of time. Whoa! And underneath, it's come out Peterson with the catch up to the 45-yard line. Well, there's another guy that was hurt for Edmonton this year. Of course, we mentioned Ricky Ray, but you know, everybody wants to be the quarterback, right? The quarterback gets all the headlines. The quarterback gets paid more money. Well, if you're in 2007, you may not want to be the quarterback this year it's been a very tough year on starting quarterbacks ricky ray one of the many that have gone down he's played with three well for peterson one formation short side of the field david anderson to the short side and up to the 50-yard line he has six Toronto Argonauts have gone through four different quarterbacks last year Five teams in the CFL had to go to their backup due to injury. There's Bishop going down. Buck Pierce, the number two for BC, went down. And Kyle Beal, of course, in week 11. Henry Burris against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. There's Ricky Ray. In 2006, six quarterbacks were hurt. This year, it's almost double. Second and four. Quick hitter. And the catch is made in traffic. And that's Peterson again with a first down. When you, so when you look at the overall numbers between last year and this year, and last year I thought was a year where we had more than normal quarterbacks hurt. One team used the number three this year. Five teams have gotten to three. Some have gone to four. 11 quarterbacks hurt in 2007. Maybe it's just coincidence. I think defensively, teams are getting better and more sophisticated. It makes it more difficult to pick up pressure. That's just starters. Yeah. First down and open has come out. Peterson with some running room. Peterson inside the 25 and dropped at the 22-yard line by T.J. Stansel. 33 for Kamau Peterson. And a new season high. Let's call this the Kamau Peterson drive to this point. Three catches in traffic. This one all the way across from the backside. The Edmonton Eskimos load up the short side of the field with three receivers, Kamau Peterson being one of them, and then shoot him across to the wide field so he has lots of room to run. 21 catches against Saskatchewan on the year. He has his third 100-yard receiving game of the season. And the fours goes underneath. Well, LaFour's... Yeah, McCarty has another catch. Yeah, McCarty has the catch, Chris, but LaFour's wanted that one back. He, he would like to have had a string on that football, not because he didn't get positive yards or anything like that. It was a successful play, but Jason Tucker had crossed in front of Calvin McCarty. He catches it, he scores. He was wide open on the other side. McCarty kind of looked at that one just... Or, excuse me, stepped on LaFour's, wanted that ball back just as he let go. Four-yard gain. Second and six. J.F. Romeo in for Nowacki, that receiver. And the fours, ducks under the pressure, straight ahead, and down to the 11, close to a first down. Looks like he got it, and he'll have a word with Scott Gordon at the end of the play. A little side of Stephon LaFours that we haven't seen in the games and the few times we've had the opportunity over the last three weeks to see him play. That's a little of that emotion coming out as he steps up and talks a little bit to Scott Gordon after this hit. You mentioned against BC here in Commonwealth two weeks ago, Chris, early in that first half. He had 60 yards rushing in that game. I think the Lions a little surprised by his mobility. It was Kevin Jones with the tackle. And Damien Anderson, a first down carry to the seven. But, but we talked about Kerry Joseph and how he can be a threat in the quarterback draw. Stephon LaForce can be that same kind of threat for Edmonton, and it's most difficult down here inside the 10-yard line because defensively now, linebackers across the board and defensive backs have their coverage responsibilities, but they're always looking with one eye to the quarterback that can run, like Joseph or LaForce, and if they hesitate for a second, it's over down in the goal line. Second and six, they can make a first down without scoring. Short drop in time. LaFleur's end zone touchdown. It is the Kamal Peterson drive.
his seventh of the year. He had three, four catches on that drive, a couple in traffic. Picks up the big game two plays ago and then finishes it, having to take the hit, survive contact, and come up with.